Welcome my freckled friends, this is Jamie, and in today's video, on this AT's Friday, okay, we are back to doing AT's on Friday, sorry, I had to make sure. We are moving forward with the discography, and we are moving to the first full album. This is All to Action, so this includes songs like Wonderland, um, If Without You, Thank You, Dazzling Light, Wind, Mist. Etc. The only songs that I am going to be including in this video today, of course, are the ones that have videos. We really only have like one full music video, which I was a little surprised. I mean, there is another music video, but it's like a selfie, special selfie MV. But Wonderland is really the only song that has like a, an official MV for this album. And I was a little surprised because it is their first full album. And I understand that they have a smaller budget being a smaller company, but their other previous mini albums had like at least three music videos. So I'm like a little surprised that their first full album only really has one official MV and if I'm wrong let me know uh, but I like I searched for these MVs I put in like I went down the track list and put in each one trying to look for a music video um, and Wonderland is really the only like official MV that I could find uh, like I said if without you has a special selfie MV which we will watch today as well but yeah I was a little surprised at the lack of MVs those are what we are gonna do today so Let's go ahead and get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do If Without You first and we'll end with Wonderland. So, let's go. All right, so before we start, I'm gonna look up the meaning of the song real quick. The song is an emotional and heartfelt expression of the importance of a loved one in the narrator's life. The lyrics convey a sense of reliance and gratitude towards this person, highlighting the impact they have on the narrator's happiness and well-being. So overall, this conveys a deep sense of love, reliance, and gratitude towards a significant person in the narrator's life. The lyrics depict the narrator's need for the person's presence and how this absence detrimentally affects their emotional well-being. So let's watch the, we're going to start with the If Without You 1000th Day Special Selfie MV. Let's do it. Oh, 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 
So where was Son for this whole thing? I see that they just had his picture in like a bunny. But where was he for this? So this was film July 18th, 2021. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Cause I was I was wondering why. I was like, this seems like something that they would have done like during COVID, like when everyone's quarantined and all of that. But you know, looking at when the album was released. I was like, the album was released in 2019 though. I was like, that was before COVID. But anyways, also I'm seeing from the comments that was this the first thing that Mingi, was this the first thing that was shown like after Mingi came back? Okay. So also from the comments, Son tested positive for COVID and they were in quarantine. Okay, so I got a couple, you know, just need to look in the comments, I guess, to get a couple things answered. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. I always like when they do stuff, like, years later. <laughs> so, obviously, at the time when this album came out, they didn't do a music video for this particular song. Um, so it's fun that, like, pretty much two years, almost two years later, they would go back and do a fun music video for this song. That's really cool. So really, they only had one music video that came out with this album at the time that this album came out. That just seems wild to me. Maybe I'm like fully, maybe I'm truly missing it, but I feel like usually with songs, if they have a music video, it's like one of the first options. And I did scroll a little bit for each song, so I, I don't know. This just, that just seems weird to me. And again, I know that they're a smaller company, but for their previous albums, they had two, sometimes three, music videos for those so i would think that for their first full album that they would have at least two or three music videos anyways sorry i might be dwelling on this a little too much so let's continue on and i guess move on to wonderland the song wonderland is about taking risks and embarking on a new adventure even if it's intimidating or uncertain the lyrics encourage listeners to push through fear and doubt and move towards the unknown in order to discover new opportunities and achieve their goals the chorus emphasizes the importance of taking the first step and moving forward together despite any obstacles that may arise. On my, my way, let's all move together. Oh, all right, I have heard this song. On my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did hear this song, I think, on Kingdom. Yeah, the verses use vivid imagery and metaphors to represent the journey ahead. The line, we're still young and wild, we're gonna find new world to be mine suggests a sense of excitement and freedom, while the line, breaking the wall, references breaking through barriers to success. The song also highlights the importance of perseverance and determination. The line, we must go and on, implies that giving up is not an option and that there is always a way to keep moving forward. Overall, Wonderland encourages listeners to embrace the unknown and take risks in order to make their dreams come true. So still kind of a similar uh, concept, which makes sense. This is still kind of all part of the like treasure world. Um, so it makes sense that we would still kind of have the same concept um, as far as in the meaning of the song. So, let's do the music video. I'm 
to the dance practice. That was an amazing music video, by the way, and maybe that's why there was only one music video, <laughs> because all of the budget went to that, but, and see, this dance practice is not with actual <laughs> 80s. I don't quite understand, I, 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 or is it? Oh, it is, they're behind them, okay. I was like, because I know that sometimes they do the dance practices with um, the group who actually comes up with the choreography, which I have seen for some of their other songs. They have had just that choreography. So when I saw not 80s, I was like, oh, is this one of those? Um, but I, I think I see them behind them. I think there's Sun with his. Yeah, I, I, I think I see Sun behind them. Okay, so this is actually with 80s. <laughs> Well, and then I looked back at the thumbnail and I was like, but ATs is in the thumbnail. Okay, I did really like that uh, music video. I love that whole aesthetic. I, I love it. Um, as far as like visually, love it. I do kind of find it funny that this is the, this is what they did in like the first, where, where Django did the like big note, right? In Kingdom, there are like three notes it was, I think, which... I was a little surprised to find out that that was not in the original song. Um, I was kind of waiting for it. Uh, so that's even cooler, I think, that he decided to do that live when it's not in the original song. Um, but I'm like kind of all over the place. I was really excited about that. Uh, I was, I'm really excited about getting to this choreography, especially towards the end. It got super intense and I got really excited. But of course there were like, it was mostly dark and kind of flashing lights and a lot of camera movement. So I'm really excited to see with just a, a steady camera. Let's go ahead and do it. I don't know if I actually said what I, um, what I had in my head to say when I first started talking, but um, we'll see, I'm excited. <laughs> I liked the music video. I really liked the song. I had heard the song before, but yeah. I'm excited to get to this dance practice. So let's get to this. Dance practice, let's go. Okay, there they are. <laughs> that I was starting to say was I was a little surprised that the music video did not have kind of a pirate themed a theme theme I was a little surprised that the music video didn't have a pirate theme it had almost like a military theme um, but not as much like a, a pirate theme like they have had with their previous songs and their previous um, 
I'm sorry, but this dude over to the left looks a lot like Sun. <laughs> I got really confused. I was like, why is Sun standing over to the side? But then I saw him right here in the middle. <laughs> really confused me for a second. Does this not, does this guy not look a lot, a lot like Sun? Maybe I'm just tripping, which I frequently do, but okay. Oh, God, what was I talking about? I, pirates. I was, yeah, I was surprised that this music video did not have a pirate theme, especially knowing that there was like a heavy pirate theme during their kingdom performance of this song, and they really liked the pirate concept. Anyways, let's continue. I apologize. Let's go. He doesn't when I, sorry, he doesn't look like him as much when I actually play the video. But that like one still of him <laughs> looks like song. Okay, sorry. It's interesting, the formation of that particular phrase, because it's Wu Young that's singing, and he's not really, he's not in the center during that part, and he's not like separated from the group either. He's just kind of off to the side in their normal formation. say about that I actually it was the only thing that I wrote down um, when watching this music video this sounds like a pep rally <laughs> I mean that in the best way possible this sounds like a pep rally song like a song to get everyone like fired up and like ready to go you know what I mean also the very beginning I have I have a five-year-old niece who really likes the zombie movie the uh, Disney Channel original movie um, and the beginning of this song reminded me a lot of that of that, uh, oh my gosh, what is the song called? That cheerleading song. The song that's playing during the like cheerleading tryouts. Listen up, it's not so tough, I'll tell you how it's oh. done. I forgot. Anyway, sorry, that's probably what brought Pep Rally to my head. Let's continue. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Honestly, this is how I usually am when I'm actually feeling good. <laughs> Which I know, I've not been feeling great in my other 18s videos <laughs> for the last like few weeks. Um, so I apologize if you're, if you just met me while watching my ATs videos and I seem really off in this video. This is actually how it typically is. Okay, let's go. I like the shoes. No song, just not flying across the floor.
you know, Pat was just like, we can't take it. with their movements and I love it so much like I always am like do you not have a headache after after watching one of their performances they're just so expressive and I think I've, I've said this in like almost all of their videos that I've ever watched of them they just have so much energy they're so kinetic and it's really fun to watch they're just like what's the word I'm looking for electric but they really are like they're, they're just like, they kind of give you energy as well. You know, I feel like if you're tired, just watch an 80s performance and you will be jacked and ready to go. <laughs> Cause they're just, they're so energetic and it's very infectious. That was awesome. I, I really like that one. I think that is also up there with some of my favorite choreography, uh, especially that last part. It's almost like, it's almost like when you have a like finisher when you're doing a, uh, a workout. Whenever you're doing a workout, you might have like a, a finisher, which is something that you do at the end to like basically tire out your muscles. And so you like go all out. And that's kind of that's kind of what that, that last part reminded me of. But that was that was a lot of fun. And I, I do like this song. This is also going on my playlist. If I missed some music videos, let me know, because I just Okay, Whew. I was like, oh my gosh, I all of a sudden remembered I have a, an order I need to package up and send out. Um, I just remembered that and I thought that that was the mail going, but it was not, so we're all good. But anyways, if I like missed out on something, definitely let me know, because I will go back and watch it if I need to. But I don't think I missed any music videos. But anyways, that is it for today's video. Oh goodness. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.